Let's talk absolute value. What is the definition? So the definition of absolute value, the way I like to think about it, is it's the distance of a number from zero. And the easy way to remember is basically when you have a number and it's positive, its absolute value is the same number. If you have a number and it's negative, the absolute value of that number is just the positive version of that number. So if we have six and we use these bars to represent absolute value, this is just equal to six. And that makes sense because if you think of a number line, here's six, what is its distance from zero? Well, it's six, six units, right? How about negative six? Well, here, since we have the absolute value bars, we're going to turn it into six again, because again, if negative six is over here, sure, it's to the left of zero, but it's still six units of distance, ignoring the sign from zero. So when you have a positive thing, it just stays positive. When you have a negative, it becomes negative. Now, one thing not to do is this. Let's say you've got eight minus t equals 12. You cannot do this. You cannot say, well, I've got eight, so I'll leave eight. And then I've got negative t, I'll make it positive t, so that's what I get. No, you can only change the sign when it is just a number by itself, not if you've got any kind of binomial or poly polynomial. Let's actually look at an example. How would I solve something like this one? So I have 8 minus t, absolute value ties, equals 12. So the method with these is you basically think of the two cases that will satisfy this expression. So think about this. 8 minus t this equation will hold if 8 minus t equals positive 12, right? because that makes sense. And it's also going to be true when 8 minus t equals negative 12, because if this quantity equals negative 12, it becomes absolute valuetized and it becomes 12. So it'll hold. So when you're doing these things, basically split it into two, make it equal to the positive on the, on the one hand and the negative on the other, and then solve the equation. So I go ahead and solve these. I'll get negative t equals 4 or t equals negative 4. And here I'm going to get negative t equals negative 20 or t equals 20. And those are my two answers, negative 4 and 20. And I could plug those in and check and I'll see that this actually is satisfied. So that's the main method to solve these kinds of equations, these absolute value equations on the test.